Hey, welcome back. In this video, I want to talk to you about a really cool technique uh, that we've used on Twitter for a long time. It's been uh, really successful for us. Um, you know, we, we have been doing this a while, so you may have heard uh, me talk about this or Anthony talk about this before. Um, but you know, times have changed, things have changed, and this is kind of the upgraded, updated version of this technique. And one of the reasons that we like this technique is that it serves multiple purposes. Uh, one purpose is that it really gets you engaged in uh, you know, having a conversation with your market. It gets you talking and reaching out to people. Uh, but it also generates massive amounts of traffic, targeted traffic, back to your offer, to your site, to your blog, to your Facebook page, you know, whatever. So this Twitter technique is something that like I said we've been doing for a really long time works really great but you have to do it right okay and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about so here we are at the home page of my profit insiders Twitter account so one thing that I talked about earlier in a previous video that you can do is actually go up here to Twitter and you can just type in uh, this hashtag number and then whatever keyword you're looking for so you can type in you know make money online we get all kinds of results for make money online okay so all these people have used this in their tweet you can also go over here to tweetchat.com and just sign in you have to authorize this app here but once you're in you basically just type in you know make money online if that's the keyword that you're trying to target click go and you're gonna have a plethora of, of people to conversate with um, you know some of these people are gonna be other marketers some of these people are gonna be people that are looking to make money online most likely if someone especially in the internet marketing niche is using a hashtag then they're probably marketers but that's not always a bad thing you can go learn a lot you can uh, follow these people they'll follow you uh, you can retweet each other's content you know retweeting other marketers content is only gonna help you in the long run there's a lot of guys out there a lot of girls out there that are that don't like to do that they don't like to you know send their potential traffic elsewhere they're afraid they're gonna lose out on their traffic but you know especially for social media it's very important to become the source of information okay whether or not you're coming up with that content or you're recommending that content to other people when you're recommending good quality content to other people you become known as what they call an aggregator and the plus side of being an aggregator is that you're gonna be noted for that content you're gonna be deemed an expert because you're recommending cool stuff to other people they're always gonna come back to you they're always gonna wanna learn more from you because you're the one that pointed them in the right direction so don't be one of those marketers it's just you know so selfish that you can't even you know if you see something cool you can't even talk about it because you don't want somebody else to get your traffic okay you know the people that are most successful in this industry are the people that are really out to help other people you know even if that means I gotta send you somewhere else because somebody else has something that you need you know at the, at the end of the day it's all about helping people and then money's kind of a byproduct to that so always keep that in mind you know make friends with these people make friends with the people in your industry you know a good buddy of mine Tim Donovan from Mobile Monopoly and uh, my business partner on Profit Insiders you know it's just a networking you know almost a guru and what he did was just made friends with a bunch of people in the internet marketing industry and that led him to his first product um, that led him to lots of money and he just gave value to those people you know helped those people out in any way that he could and that made him you know kind of the glue of the industry where everybody in the industry uh, started to meet each other through Tim okay those people made money when they met each other and Tim introduced two internet marketers they made money and he didn't at first but that's what he did and it worked and now he's making money so don't be afraid to connect people don't be afraid to help people and I'm gonna get off my uh, soapbox here and show you the Twitter technique 
but I just wanted to to kind of you know share that with you from my experience and what I've seen and I think it's very important so let's go back to Twitter and let's do the Twitter techniques now um, one way you can search for uh, people in here is just by the keyword so we did the hashtag or you can actually search by you know almost more conversational uh, pieces so you could come in and say you know I need to make more money okay this is kind of a conversation that somebody may have on Twitter they may just be frustrated one day with their financial situation they may just say this on Twitter they'll tweet it come in here yeah see I need to make more money I need more money um, I need new ways to make money I need to find more stuff to sell I need to make more money okay so obviously like I said in the uh, SEO portion when we were which are choosing our niche um, you know making money online is uh, you know a great niche you're always gonna have plenty of traffic okay until everybody in the world is all wealthy and driving Ferraris you're always gonna have people that want to make more money um, and then obviously if everybody had Ferraris we'd probably have you know <laughs> some other crazy aspiration okay so there's always gonna be that that aspect as well um, but when it comes to targeting targeting a niche I recommend targeting the people that really want it okay those people are gonna be the most responsive initially okay so you know uh, kind of the flip side of that is maybe if somebody really needs to make money they may not be able to afford your product but that's a whole other story for a whole other conversation but what we want to do is we want to find people that are actually looking and talking about what we can offer okay even if we're not trying to sell them right away we want to find these people so uh, the same way that uh, we use the hashtags and tweet chat and we found a lot of marketers we could end up finding a lot of marketers this way too so one little trick that you can do is come in here before and just type in HTTP or minus HTTP sorry and what that's going to do is it's going to get rid of any tweets that have outbound links okay those outbound links could be going to someone's website or their blog or their Facebook page or their sales page or their squeeze page or whatever but it's gonna get rid of all that okay so you're not gonna find anybody that's marketing at least trying to send you externally from Twitter so if you come back here the top uh, results are, are basically the same I mean these people literally just posted um, an hour ago five hours ago so uh, you know all these are today so <clears throat> what uh, what you wanna do is just start conversations with these people you know um, what we used to do is we would come in here we would open this up uh, we would reply and we would say something like hey I feel you on uh, wanting to uh, make more money you know I I've got this great resource you should check it out and we'd send them an affiliate link to a product well what happened is that uh, Twitter started to tighten up their policies on you know uh, contacting people and what you could talk about and it, it really kind of boils down to you know a lot of uh, social media platforms don't like affiliate marketing really um, and it's not that they don't like affiliate marketing it's just that affiliate marketing has been tainted by those uh, you know spammers that we all love so much and we don't want to be that anyway okay you can make money uh, spamming you can you can spam away and, and make a little bit of money here and there but you're never gonna build a long-term income stream you're never gonna build followers you're never gonna build trust you're never gonna build relationships with your customers or your market and uh, you're never really gonna know what they want next okay so one of the reasons we want to build a big relationship with this market is because we want to be able to ask them questions ask them you know what should we you know give you next what what can we bring to the table what do you need and uh, you know you know, spamming is it's great short term yeah I guess if you want to make a little bit of uh, cash and bang a buck but really at the end of the day um, you know building relationships having customers that you can uh, continue to communicate with reach out to that want what you have to offer and continue to buy from you um, it's long term it's the better route you know it's always easier to and cheaper to uh, sell to an existing customer than find a new one okay that's that's the old adage so anyway 
what we would need to do now at this point, this day and age, uh, we're kind of past the spam age, okay? There was a time when these social uh, media outlets were new and, you know, kind of anything went. It was kind of the Wild West and people were doing all kinds of crazy things, and they still are. But, uh, you know, we're, we're really moving into an era of, you know, relationships and, uh, you know, communicating with people and actually delivering value okay it kind of it was reciprocal at one point it kind of you know it, it was it was all about value giving and then it kind of you know went all about marketing and some people made some money but now it's kind of like you know a lot of the platforms that people were you know kind of taking advantage of and doing this stuff on have basically said no more okay and the last thing you want to do is get your um, Twitter account banned or shut down or or your Facebook account banned or shut down or your YouTube channel or your Google uh, AdWords channel you know um, Google AdWords Facebook ads they don't even like they don't even let you send your traffic to a straight affiliate product anymore okay so it, it, we're getting away from that all right so if you've ever used this technique and had your account shut down um, I'm you know and you heard it from me I'm sorry it's it's not something that uh, you know we anticipated happening um, but it's it's a random thing you know if if, uh, if you use this technique and you send someone to a straight affiliate product you might not ever get your account shut down and you might just make money because you're sending someone straight to a sales page but the problem with that is that you're not really building a list you're not building a market you're not building people that you can talk to again okay so that's one-time traffic and if you watch the um, email marketing portion of success with Anthony you know how important it is to build a list and not just send people to an offer so anyway something for this uh, particular situation you know we're, we're definitely gonna wanna come in a little bit more uh, empathetic we wanna come in and you know we really wanna make this personal okay this message needs to be personal you know hey I feel you I'm wanting to uh, make more money um, this works great for the uh, lose fat, you know, lose weight. If you're targeting you know, lose 20 pounds, you'll find all kinds of results for that. You know, and you just come in, same thing. You know, I feel you on wanting to lose 20 pounds. Um, I've got a great blog with some uh, good tips for you know making this happen for you. You can check it out. She just come in here and say, hey, I feel you on wanting to make more money. I've got a great blog about this. You should check it out. And you just come in here and put your uh, put your URL for your blog, okay? So um, our blog is break free from fat.com oh no one letter off huh okay we'll just lose a period there we go okay so it's break free from fat.com when I tweet this it's going to uh, give her a clickable link she can click and go right to the blog at the blog she's gonna find uh, you know articles she's gonna find my um, posts she's gonna um, also see my Facebook page where she'll be able to click on if you if you watch the videos before this on integrating your uh, your Twitter and your Facebook to your blog you'll you'll uh, you'll start to realize from doing this kind of stuff how important it is to have everything there so people can come to your blog which is kind of your hub and then they can go off in the different directions you know to the medias that uh, that they really use okay if she's a Facebook user she's gonna love our Facebook page if she's a Twitter user, she'll just follow us here and, and keep up with us. If she really likes to go to blogs and read blogs, then she's going to come to our blog. And then also, you know, we're going to have our YouTube channel as well. And then we're going to be dabbling in Google Plus too. And uh, so, you know, th it, this is just one of those things where it's, it's, it really just should, you know, kind of come from the heart. It should just be something that you would say to a friend. You know, hey, I feel you. I understand your your problem here. I've got a good blog about this. I've got some information you need to see, and uh, this could be your blog. It could be you could send them to your Facebook page. You could send them to a YouTube channel. You know, it, I recommend you know just killing it in one area first. You know, getting your blog just like stellar, and then moving on and getting your YouTube channel set up. 
then moving on and getting your Facebook channel set up getting your tweets tight because all of these things are going to work together so well okay so um, this is something you can outsource you can have some a virtual assistant do this for you basically all day you know once you get a good message you've got a good place to send people um, the possibilities are endless I mean, you're never going to run out of traffic if you stick to the big three you know dating and relationship advice health and fitness making money online stick to these big three niches um, and you'll and you'll find your market okay you'll find your market you'll start to niche down you'll get more targeted you know just make sure that wherever you're sending them there's some content there's some good stuff okay um, basic rule for Facebook is you know every three every three posts or so you can uh, promote something but you know every every three four posts should be content you should be delivering something okay uh, sending send them to a cool website about this or you know sharing your experience or um, a testimonial or anything that you can come up with that's just value giving and then then you can promote okay so that's kind of how it works and that's how it's gonna work on Twitter too you know tweet value all day and then every now and then offer offer promotion and you know it may not be a short term uh, short term gratification is just spamming and trying to send somebody to a sales page but you're gonna be amazed uh, with just doing this for a couple hours a day you know playing with this stuff you're gonna start building a list you're gonna start having followers you're gonna start having fans people are gonna wanna hear from you you're gonna be the aggregator because you're gonna give them a bunch of good knowledge and information and you're just gonna go so far if you take these uh, steps I'm giving you take action set all this stuff up and uh, use these techniques okay so this technique's great if you've seen this technique before just you know evolve with it evolve to where it is now and here's where it is we're basically no longer sending someone straight to an affiliate page or straight to some sales page okay let's let's think outside the box a little bit let's start thinking about the person let's get in their shoes people are going to be a lot more likely to buy from you if uh, they know you they trust you they like you they've been uh, keeping up with you and you've been delivering good content and you say oh by the way I've got this product you should check out and then you know it's a done deal so this is the Twitter technique in a nutshell you know just quick review you just come here to your search bar make sure you type in the uh, minus HTTP to uh, keep from you know hitting any marketers for this technique and then just type in you know kind of a conversational piece include your keyword if you'd like okay um, and then depending on what niche you're in and what uh, Twitter account you're in I'm in my profit insiders right now so obviously I'm gonna talk about making money online I'm gonna talk about you know I need to make a thousand dollars a month or, or whatever get creative with it and you're gonna have a, just a slew of traffic it's never gonna run out um, there's always gonna be people that need uh, what you have to offer just uh, keep at it get your get your pitch down uh, once you start driving some traffic and once you start getting some people to come to your blog and come to your uh, Facebook page then you can just outsource this have somebody else do this for you all day make it their job to kind of you know manage your uh, social media manage your reaching out manage your contacting and uh, you're gonna be amazed at how far this will take you so I hope uh, you take action with this technique we really enjoy it, it works very well and I'll see you in the next video